to use the furniture tool to create a simple furniture item, make sure that we start first from a clean file. So file, new, general. This just clears the scene of anything that might interfere with the tool. So click that, it'll reset the view. So we have a camera, cube and a light. These are our defaults. To access the tool, we want to go into view, sidebar, view, sidebar, click on that and then we have access to the tool tab. So click on that. We've got access to the tools that are available and what we want is the furniture tool. So click on the little arrow to expand the options and because we started from a clean file all we need to do is click on create furniture. Click on that and it'll drop in some defaults which is a pre-textured block and the furniture root node that's needed for IMVU. And this is the basics of a furniture item. So if we save this file, save as, tool test furniture, save, we can export this as is without doing anything else. Now for that, we want to go into export tool, expand the options, click the export button. Click that, it'll do its thing and export the appropriate FBX that we can now import into Studio. Now that we've got an FBX available, we want to create a new project We want furniture, rooms and furniture, furniture. That will give us the available options. We can choose empty furniture and then derive. So there's nothing in the scene right now. There's just the avatar. So to import, we want to click on the import button and then import FBX. So import button, import FBX, browse to our file. Select the FBX, which we called test furniture. There it is, tool test furniture. Select, open. That'll give us the file dialog. So what we now have is the import process. It's recognized some things in the files. So that's what it's seen. Set up FBX. We don't need to do anything with scale. So that's okay. That's okay. And it's brought in our mesh. So we can click next. It's got our material, so we can preview that. Next. No animation. Review. So that's what it's going to bring in. And then import. And there is our furniture item. And obviously we can then assign materials to it. So we can change the material, add opacity, normal maps, tininess map if we want. And that is a basic furniture item. So to make more complicated furniture, because we now have two objects, so we have the root node, which is needed. That's the skeleton that latches onto the room node in IVU. And we have our mesh. Obviously doing some mesh editing is beyond the scope of this particular tutorial, but what we can do is use this block to make a very simple furniture item. So for example, let's make a stool, a simple stool. So what we're going to do is just duplicate this object a number of times and then just reshape them without doing too much heavy editing so that we get a seat, 
and four legs. So we need to duplicate this, select our object, and in the object menu, we want to select duplicate objects. Object, duplicate objects. We'll get an object moving with the mouse. Press escape just to reset. So that's the escape key. And then what we'll want to do is move that aside so that we can access it. So we want to be using our manipulation tools. So we've got move, rotate and scale. So first move. Let's just move our objects to one side. So that's number one. We can keep that selected. Object, duplicate objects, press escape. That's going to be number two. Keep that one selected. Object, duplicate, escape. That's number three. And then again, object, duplicate objects, escape, move that aside. So make the seat top. So the top of this box is approximately the height of the avatar's bum. So what we want to do is just squash the shape of the box so that the seat remains more or less at this position. So this will probably scale the box and we'll have to reposition it, but we can do that anyway. So scale tool, click. The widget will change, so the widget is this 3D axis. So click drag the blue handle and squash it down. That's top to bottom and then click drag the red handle left to right and we'll get a squarish shape. Like so. What we want to do, switch back to move and we can use the height of the boxes that we have got and reposition the original back up to that height. So that's what we end up with, more or less. So with the other boxes, we're going to create some legs. We're going to do exactly the same process, but create some leg shapes. So scale, red handle, green handle, that's leg number one, red handle, green handle, that's number two, red handle, green handle, red handle, and green handle. So those are our four legs. Just going to move those into position. So move. Like so. So what we can do when we're moving objects is we can either click drag on an arrow that will move it in a particular direction or we can click drag on these plates or panels that will move in multiple directions. And all we need to do is position the legs in the corners. And then we can even leave these nubs so these legs go all the way through our chair and have split pegs in the top of them to splay the legs at the top so that it forces out against the hole that's in the seat, obviously. So that's our simple stool. So what we need to do with this next is select the legs, so shift click, then the top, then we're just going to join them together. So object, join. That creates a single object from everything. Save the file. And then we can export this. So again, don't need to do anything else. Just click on the export button. Click. 
that creates an FBX that we can now look at in Studio. So in Studio again, click Create. We need to create a project. It'll have the last set or selected objects that we had, which is the empty furniture item. So we can select that, click on Derive. Gives us the avatar. And then again, import FBX. Find and select our file, Tool Test Furniture 2, open. Gives us a preview of what's in the file. Again, set up FBX, everything else is okay there. Next, got our material. Next, no animation, review. That's the contents it's going to be brought in. Import, and there is our textured stool. And again, obviously, all it then means is component and changing our material. So add image. Let's use a checker. Preview. And there it is using a different texture. If we want to add more interest to our seat, our stool, what we can do is add a seat node. So we've got idle, standing, or sitting. For this, all we want to do is add a sitting seat node set. So click that button, and it'll drop in a set of nodes. These are additional nodes. So we've got the seat node, which is currently selected. That's highlighted. That's the root of the avatar. We've got the handle, the bit that we see when we're in game. And then we've got the catcher and pitcher nodes that are the points of reference for when the avatars interact with one another. For example, shaking hands. So that's all we need to do. Just drop that in, make sure they're positioned where they need to be, and again, just export the file. So let's just save this as a different version before we do. and then export. So again, just click export and it'll create our FBX file that we can again load into Studio. So once more in Studio, create. Again, it's got the last project set, which is furniture. So click and then derive. Again, the avatar, import FBX, browse to our file, it's number three, open, go through the checklist again, that's what's found in the file. This time, however, we've got an extra set of bones that's included in the skeleton because of the inclusion of the seat nodes. So that's okay, it's got our mesh, so next, again, it's brought in our material, which we can change here if we wanted to. So we click on the little thumbnail and select our texture replacement. And it replaces it and it'll be brought in. So next, no animation, review. That's what's being brought in. And then import. And again, it auto assembles our furniture item. And this time we have a seat node. That highlights and shows the avatar preview before clicking and placing the avatar on the spot. And that is our simple stool using the furniture toolkit.